All right, let's see what happens now. It's Ellis H, everyone. Ellis H. Ooh, I heard like a groan from the comedian circle. That's interesting. Here he comes running, everybody. One more time for Ellis H, everyone. All right, all right, all right. Okay, so parents love giving their kids cute names like Pookie, Peanut, shit like that, right? You know what my mama called me growing up? Deep Throat. I'm telling you. Yeah, it's because I used to eat and drink food really fucking fast. I'd be... <laughs> my mom was like, God damn, boy, you got a deep throat. And that's the name. That's where the name stuck. But ladies and gentlemen, we give words power. We give words connotation. You know what I'm saying? In London, spotted dick is a dish. In America, spotted dick is a problem. <laughs> I did not know the sexual implications behind the name until I got into... High school, my homeboy pulled me aside and said, hey man, you know Rachel? I said, yeah, I know Rachel. He said, bro, she got a deep throat. I said, shit, me too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, my, my daddy said, I got a real deep throat. He said, yo daddy, I'm like, well, it's my mama who started it, but. Hey, are we playing basketball or nah? All right, that's it. If y'all feeling good, give me a hell, yeah? Yeah, Woo! I like your that energy. Good. Ellis go. H, fuck yeah. I love it. Wow. Ellis H, look at you. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Fuck yeah, like a thick Kevin Hart. Yeah. Hey, Kevin Hart failure, right? You know what I'm saying? Fuck it. Mm -hmm. I love it. Absolutely. <laughs> Welcome to the show, uh, Ellis. This is your first time on Kill Tony, correct? Yes, sir. How long have you been on stand-up? Three years, sir. Where at? Um, in San Antonio and San Marcos. Nice, nice. Is that where you're from? I, yeah, but I broke up with my chick and shit, so I moved back to Austin. Oh, okay. How long yeah. were you with her for? Four years, bro. She's married and has a baby now. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, that bitch ain't shit. Wow. Like, Damn. I'm out here working my ass off for this woman. Is it your baby? No, it ain't mine. No. <laughs> Okie dokie. Uh, how soon, how recently did you break up with her? December of last year. December of I last year. Okay, yeah, you had me yeah, nervous yeah. there for a second because I'm doing the math on nine months. And uh, all right, <laughs> December of last year. Why'd you break up with her, bro? She like because she got pregnant from somebody else. No, you you know what's crazy? Like women don't believe you when you say like I'm an actor and I do stand up. And she thought it was cute in the beginning, but when I was still doing it, she's like, okay, so you really serious about this shit? Right, yeah. so, right. Because yeah. you weren't spending a lot of time with her, is what you're saying, right? Yeah, man. But you loved her. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> she a dirt. Yo, she a dirty ass bitch. Yeah. Oh my god, there's sometimes this show just has little moments like that where it's so honest and real and powerful. Holy fucking shit. How long it was four years you were with her and you didn't even love her? Bro, like it's just like I'm loyal. And I just tried to make it work. I was like, you know, we're going to fight through this. And we're going to get it together. You know, you ain't going to love everybody all the time. <laughs> I just wanted to. I said, it's normal if you want to kill yourself. It's folk. It's cool. <laughs> man, I found out, man. I hate when you fucking. Why is it that when you break up with somebody, you start learning the truth and shit? It was like, my mom was like, look, you're better off. The bitch didn't have a neck. I was like, what? <laughs> Baby, that woman was like a shampoo bottle. Just head and shoulders. I said, God damn. My daddy said that she looked like a Batman villain, and I'm upset. I'm like, oh, like Catwoman? No. Oh, Poison Ivy? No. Uh, the Penguin. I said, this nigga let me go around the city clapping cheeks with Danny DeVito. Matilda, Dad. Oh, Ain't shit. That a bitch. Oh, shit. LSH is a monster, everybody. Wow, wow, wow. wow Every wow. once in a while, this bucket fucking provides. Wow. You're a funny man, Ellis. What do you do for work? Uh, I do lift, bro. You what? Uh, lift. Weights? No, oh, no. no, no, no you no. drive the car? <laughs> no, just driving cars. Gotcha, right. gotcha, gotcha. How long have you been doing that for? Uh, since March. Since March. Okay. Oh, yeah. What were you doing before that? Uh, working at Lowe's. Oh, okay. Man, fuck Lowe's. Oh, shit. <laughs> what happened with Lowe's? It sounds like you never really loved it either. It, it, it just like... I don't know, man. Like, it's just a number of old white folks that go there, old white men, and they old. I don't know why race is always in, like, play. Like, he's asking me about lumber, and then somehow he's telling me about his, how his daddy marched with Martin Luther King Jr. I'm like, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, do you want the red oak or not? 
Oh my god. Oh my god, dude. I've seen this before. This is a fucking star, everybody. Yeah, this is what a this star is. really is. Show. Thank you, man. You're one of those guys. God is this good. is very yes. exciting. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Very exciting moment. I love it, Alice. So three years, you've been going real hard at this, huh? Yes, sir. And you said you act as well. Have you been in anything or done anything, or uh, you just? Well, Laura Willen, uh, I was in a, a. We did a show, our feature in May called Hierarchy. Uh, it's coming out summer twenty two. Maybe, maybe not. I don't. Yeah, I don't know. So, so if you don't see it, I said maybe not. <laughs> God damn it, you are by far the most talented Lyft driver I've ever had on this show. Hey, thank you. Thank you're you in the so top much. three Uber drivers, but you're the best Lyft driver we've ever had. Hey, let's go. Yeah, I you're going to be it. famous. Hey, thank you, ma'am. I appreciate you. Uh, you and look like... S- <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh okay. shit, Okay, it's dude. either Ice Cube or she, she slips. She slips on her words only when she wants to fuck the guy. Uh, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I didn't realize the Migos were joining the party here. Uh, what type of what types of girls are you into? Have you ever been with a Puerto Rican woman before? Man, you know it's crazy. It's like I mostly been dating Mexican chicks, but I'm trying to switch it up. So I went on Black.com. But I'm wait, still wait, 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 wait. This is where I'm hitting the pause button for just a second. Did you say Black.com? Yeah, BlackPeopleMeet.com. Just, was that a black man? Oh wow! Hey, Holy shit! Hell that's yeah! A, that's a black guy with a white accent over there. Uh, it sounds like fucking Tony Hinchcliffe. Black.com's awesome. I wish you could see it, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they don't make dating sites in Braille yet. Wait, I I don't think Black.com is a dating site. <laughs> Yeah, wait, is, black t- is black.com porn or dating? No, it's dating. Wow, what? and that it's just so that simple. B-L-A-C-K.com, and it sends it, it, you... No, it's just B-L-K. Whoa. Oh, that's totally okay. different. All Say right. something about our education systems. Okay. Sometimes I try to go to MLK.com, and I hit the wrong button, and I end up there. Because I'm always interested in the Martin Luther King Foundations and whatnot. <laughs> Anyway, so you go to the black.com, then what happens? You know, and then I'm, I'm trying to switch it up. I've been dating other Mexican chicks, and now I'm trying to get, you know, that cocoa butter love, you know? And um, Wait, you're, now, you're saying now you're trying to hook up with more black girls? More black women, yes. Okay. But I keep matching with Mexicans even on black.com. Wow. I say, Jesus these bitches Christ. is following me. Question. I don't know why. At first, I thought they segregated right. the shit. Like, only black people could be on that forum. Very good. Why? It's crazy that you keep getting Mexicans. It's like, it's like you went from Lowe's to Home Depot. <laughs> <laughs> One of the best in the world. Uh, yeah. In the whole wide planet. Bro, hey, can I be? Hey, can I be real though? This I don't want. I, this gonna sound weird. You are gonna make a joke about it? I don't give a fuck. I had a dream that I met you at a Walmart. Wow. That is. I'm pretty sure that was uh, MLK's original speech. Uh, <laughs> I had a dream that I met you in a Walmart. What was I doing in this Walmart? I love it. I love that only my fantasy version is there ever. Dude, it was crazy, man. Yeah, you were just shopping and shit, and I said, hey, man, I'm going to do Kill Tony. You was like, okay, well, go for it then. <laughs> it- That was me. That's what I would have said. That's a very realistic dream. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> you know what, man? I would love to have you on the Secret Show Thursday also. That, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, let's go. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate are, you. Are you in town on Wednesday night? Huh? Are you in town on Wednesday night? Uh, I'm going to be just doing live. I don't have a show, but you want to hang out? Yeah. I'll be- oh shit! Wait, hey. yeah. I'm just- oh shit! Oh my god, he's gonna hang out with his first Puerto Rican. She's gonna teach him how to swim, everybody. Oh shit! Woo! That is that is impossible. I can't do it. Two types of people in this world: people who swim and people who sink. And I'm a sinking son of a bitch. 
Wow. You look like you float. I, I, I look like I should float, but I'm dense than a motherfucker. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Yes, ma'am. Ellis, I absolutely fucking love your energy. Hey, I appreciate you, boss. Will you, will you keep coming back uh, here to Kill Tony? Sign up again. Uh, you're very, very, uh, you're very close to becoming a big part of the show. All right, Lord willing. If you're here in Austin. I appreciate you, man. All right. Ellis H. Ellis H. is next. Here, live, very clearly, anything can happen here. This is the most improvised comedy show that perhaps... Oh, we know, Ellis. This is the return of uh, Ellis H, everybody. Ooh, about the trip. Okay, I can't stand my brother. I can't stand his ass. We could do the exact same shit, and it's a different result every single time. He puts on a bandana, he's Tupac. I put on a bandana, I'm Tracy Morgan from The Longest Yard. <laughs> He take his shirt off, all the girls go, oh my God, big sexy. I take my shirt off, you know what the girls call me? Big titties. Have my ass shopping at Victoria's Secret. The girls he get, man, beautiful women. Beautiful, some off the movies, man. The girls I get, yeah, they some off the movies too. Yeah, Planet of the fucking Apes. <laughs> that motherfucker loves talking about, bro, when we going double date, man? I'm like, you know damn well I don't want a double date. His girl come in strutting. You know how my girl come in? On her fucking knuckles. Uh, uh. I'm like, bitch, look, here's a banana. Get in the fucking car. Uh. I'm like, yes, I got the condoms. We'll make love later. Get in the car. If y'all feeling good, give me a hell yeah. R.I.P. Betty White. Shout out to the dude from uh, uh -oh, Australia. Ed, I love you, mate. Hell yeah. Ellis motherfucking H doing it again. We've seen him once before, absolutely destroyed, as said in his interview last time. And I think we're going down the same goddamn road again, LSH. Look at you. You're a cold-blooded fucking killer. I miss being up here, man. I miss y'all. Hell yeah. So Welcome back, indeed. How's it been going? How were your holidays? Shit, I'm trying to catch my breath right now. Fuck. Yeah. It, it was good, man. It was good. Had a good uh, new year. Had a pregnancy scare. This oh, shit. shit. Was crazy. I didn't know that Plan B don't work on heavyset women. <laughs> wow. You got to do two. I didn't, I didn't know that uh, either. You got to take two. Yeah. Yeah. You got you to go with Plan C on that one. I was about one. to say, uh, if you think with two Cs, you need two Plan Bs. Right. Big or, bitch. Mm. Or perhaps even Plan B, where you put it in a dessert. Yes, a, sir. Cus yes, sir. a custard treat. Plan B. I've been waiting 15 years to do that joke. There was never an opportunity for a fat girl plan B, flan B joke, and I did it. That was the moment, and I shall never repeat it again. How big of a girl are we talking about? I know you'll give me an honest answer. She was a sturdy bitch. Had to be 205. <laughs> we were fighting, boy, and I loved it. I love me a big woman. Before I could get out the words honest answer, he had already called her a sturdy bitch. Uh, Man. Absolutely. Are we talking about like short and stocky? What are we talking just about here? Short, but just just tits, great ass, great big old belly. I loved it. Oh shit! <sighs> Lord, I'm having flashbacks. Come on, let me calm down. Oh my goodness! Hell yeah! Man, she had like a big old bean bag, bro. Just so warm. That bitch has so much heat. You could put an uncooked chicken between her legs, and that motherfucker come out fully seasoned. <laughs> Jesus okay. Christ, are you serious? That girl she's has got so that much fucking, heat. She's got that fucking rotisserie pussy, dude. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Absolutely incredible. Wow. Black girl, right? Ch yep. Jamaican. Yep, yep. I know. There's no white girl that could cook a chicken in her pussy, dude. <laughs> I've met a lot of white women. None of them have those kinds of powers. At... At best, at best, they could they could slightly warm up a thawed hot dog, but <laughs> but it, to cook a full chicken, I mean, this is absolutely incredible. It's like when they have the blowtorch over sushi. Absolutely or something. Absolutely incredible. So she, you took her back to your place. This all goes down. How long does sex with a man like LSH last? I, you seem like the dude, kind of guy that could light I don't a couple. Be nothing, dude. What? Like I just be going, bro. You just keep going. I'll beat off one time and then that's it. I'm set for the whole night. You, you beat. I, hold no, on, wait, that's Ellis. Ellis. Doing. Sometimes you're so you're so good at this that sometimes I have to slow it down with you. Uh, <laughs> so you said sometimes you get it and then you got it all night. Repeat what 
What'd you just say? Like, I'll beat off and I'll nut. While she, hard again. While she's there? Oh, no, this is the prep. This is the pregame. Right, right, and right. Then, you're you know. beat the, the prep, as Ellis calls it. You're, 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 you know, you're beating off. You're uh, flowering the chicken for later. You're... <laughs> oh, oh, shit, shit, man, yeah. And then what? Then she's on her way over. Is that when you do that, or do you do it earlier so that you have I a little bit? I do it about of... two hours. Two hours, very yeah. good. Two hours at fucking very, very three seventy-five. I love it. Uh, so two hours. Then what? She comes over to your place. I come over to her place. Okay. You yeah, go over yeah. to your, her place. What, what's her place like? Big, it's nice. It's a nice one bedroom. One bedroom, extra large kitchen? Yeah. <laughs> All right. I love it. Uh, Bitch had goodies, fruit snacks, Scooby Doo snacks. Oh, the best kind. shit. Capri Suns. Hell oh, yeah. Shit. Hell yeah. That's, that's a fun lady. Yeah. You don't want to be stuck with a girl that just has bottles of Aquafina in her dude. fridge. You or know Tapa I mean? Chico. Fuck all that, dude. <laughs> Tapo Chico, just yes. That is exactly water, how that's pronounced. <laughs> don't ever change it. Uh, okay. So you're at her place now, and uh, how fast, how, how, how soon until things really get started? How long until you make your move? Well, we were watching You Got Served and shit. And then uh, I was like, damn, he can, that Marcus Houston. And she goes, yeah, he can really dance. And then we breathe in, breathe out. And then we just start fucking. I don't know. Wow. All right. That's not that really a measurement of time start... at all, but <laughs> makes sense to me. And then you just keep going after that. Yeah. At any point, does she say like that she's having an orgasm or anything like that? Who cares? No, I'm not fucking with you. No, I'm, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like. This is why honesty, when you hear that shit about honesty being the funniest thing and timing, that's exactly, that's exactly what we're talking about. It's, we all thought it for a second. Nobody in their right mind would say it out loud. But, nah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but you did, Ellis. All the, all the bitches like, oh, fuck him. Oh, right. I was thinking about it, but no, he's good. Damn. You oh, said it. Shit. Damn. Damn. Look she at it. You look like my uh, second grade teacher, too. Damn. <laughs> exactly. Fuck out of here. Right. Right. Damn, she doesn't seem like, the, like one of the big booty bitches that you like. You know what I mean? She's just over here talking shit with her small little tuchus. You know what I mean? <laughs> well, let's keep, let's keep our eyes on the prize here because uh, you're a fucking machine. So you go, it, what's it like at the end? Like, uh, do you end up doing like a walk of shame out of there? Do you spend the night? You have breakfast together? What's I, I spend the night and she had a full spread. Full spread breakfast for you? Oh, yeah, French toast, scrambled eggs, bacon. It was fun. Oh, my right. goodness. I've seen this before. I have a lot of friends, and a lot of those friends have big, beautiful, bodacious black women. And I'm telling you, they all cook massive breakfast. <laughs> it is incredible. It's never like less than seven things on like a platter. There's Hell every, yeah. there's a little bit of oatmeal, there's some fruit, there's eggs. I don't know. I don't live that kind of the life. The bacon's candied. <laughs> yes. Yes, there's a lot of... There's a full rotisserie chicken there. I mean, You're like, well, chicken for breakfast? Wasn't Whoa, expecting it, but down, I'll guys. have some. Chill, I'll dip it. this chicken right into these eggs. <laughs> All right. Oh, man. Did you, did you guys do it again after breakfast? No, I had to go drive... Uber. Uber, yeah. Absolutely. And you drive Uber X or Uber Blackest? I just drive the regular old Uber, bro. Hell yeah. Shit. So you go from one XL to the other. I love it. <laughs> you know what, man? I would love to have you back on the Secret Show Thursday if man, you can. fuck yeah! That's how you start 2022! You do your shit. Hey, this the year we do all our shit, y'all. I don't give a fuck. I'm talking my shit. If you doing something, you better be the best at it. If you work at McDonald's, you better flip that bitch. I don't give a fuck. If you, if somebody asking for a goddamn uh, McFlurry or some shit, you get in your headset and you say firmly, "I'm sorry, our machine is broken." Wow, Tony, I'm shit. sorry. This our year, y'all. I don't give a fuck. Shit, I came. I ain't playing. I might be the new regular. No, I'm just kidding. Let me calm down. He, he look, Tony, like calm the fuck down. With fucking energy like that, you can't be. Woo! You kill, okay, you never... take it. Then that's what that's that's where you end up. You know what I mean? I could tell you jerked off two hours before coming here tonight. You prepped for this. You know how to make the most out of a big moment, if you know what I mean. 
Yes, sir. Well, uh, Ellis, you know, I just got to tell you, normally every single week we have a, uh, a regular on this show. He is indeed our, I can say this in 2022, our token black regular, uh, David Lucas. But oftentimes he's got babies all around the country and shit. He's yeah. morbidly obese. And sometimes he can't make it to uh, this local show. Um, would you be willing to do a new minute every time David's not here? We'll have what? Yeah. a new... Yes. 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 Okay. Yes, ma'am. Well, in that case, we're going to see a brand new minute from Ellis H., I do believe, next week. How about hey, that? Let's go. There he goes. Ellis H., everyone. Woo. Uh, a couple weeks ago, we saw a comedian for his only his second time ever on the show. And I decided to make this man basically a new backup regular. When David Lucas isn't here, this is the new regular. Ladies and gentlemen, this is his first time as a regular on the show. This is Ellis H., everybody. The regular debut of Ellis H. Yeah. You're a parent in this bitch. Make some noise right now. Woo! Woo! Woo shout out to y'all. Because I can't do that shit. No. Uh, I can't do it. Uh, I'm childish. I'm not playing with a full deck up here. I mean, I sit crisscross applesauce. When I go to HEB, I get buddy bucks. And I just learned the difference between artistic and autistic last week. So, um, <laughs> no. I'm, I bullshit you down. I'm about to get in a fight with a motherfucker. My coworker came up to me. He said, dude, what's wrong? I said, ooh, I'm about to beat this dude ass. He said, him over there? I'm like, yeah. He said, you can't fight that dude. He's autistic. I said, I don't give a fuck how good he can draw. He can still get his ass beat. <laughs> Man, if y'all feeling good, give me a hell, yeah? Hell yeah. Hey, shout out to uh, Martin Luther King Jr. in this bitch, y'all. Shit, man. <laughs> JPEG, Danny Brown. Hey. Bitch pussy smell like a penguin. I went at that, where my words at me, baby? No, man, this motherfucker got me in detention in high school, bro. It's crazy. Y'all made me feel that fucking old, man. Come on. Ellis H, everybody. I do believe that was the, uh, the end of his set. Thank you. All right. Welcome back to the show, Ellis. Thank uh, you for having this me, is man. true. You've been a fan of Danny Brown for a while. Dude, I love him, bro. Like, well, my favorite, my absolute favorite is that one train verse, bro. You fucking, that was. Oh, Joey shit, Mac even the white people they know about agree. it. Look at that. Did you guys hear that? Whoa. People only, people only like that verse because I said a bitch pussy smelled like a penguin. That's crazy. And, how the fuck you make that, And bro? people don't even get it. Oh, they say, like, how did Danny Brown come up with you saying a bitch pussy smelled like a penguin? But I used to go to, like, you know, when you were in, like, whatever, school and shit, you go on school trips and shit, they would take us to the Detroit Zoo, and we would go to this thing called Penguin Area. And once you step down, we're in Penguin Area, shit was a lot different than everything else. You know what I'm saying? So, shit. when I grew up and I was able to write rap and shit, I came up with it. Your bitch pussy smell like a penguin. And it was like, how does Denny Brown know what a penguin smells like? But yeah, I went... Uh, Detroit Zoo, it had a thing, an exhibit called Penguin Area. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. A lot of people don't know this. Danny was at the Detroit Zoo because he was in <laughs> one of the exhibitions there. Oh, uh, where... Part two, what I learned, the fishiest pussy is the goodest pussy, man, in some sense. Wait a second. Is this a, is this a fact that... The f hold on. Did it's I hear that fact. right? No, the it's fishiest not a pussy is the best pussy? No, it's not a fact, but I'm saying in intensive if you want to do crime with it. You want to do crime okay. with it? Yeah. So if you gotta meet, like, if you meet a bitch and her pussy ain't fishy, then you know she ain't got no felonies. <laughs> so if you fuck with a bitch and her pussy look I, fishy, you like. I mean, I fucks with it. Like right. the I got, I, I, I can leave. I can leave a couple pounds in her house. We can do some kind of. The pussy is kind of fishy. We gonna do dirt together. Wow. So when you smell a little bit of fishiness, you're like, we might commit a felony. She got felonies. She's been to jail before. Oh my goodness. Fishy pussy definitely got felonies. I cannot. Look, everybody's laughing. I can't make it up. I can't wait to see the uh, statistics on this. I think we should. I think we should have 20 girls. Uh, all right, forget it. And we got to do smell tests? Smell tests, and then you get, to, you get a printout of their criminal Scratch record and afterwards. And we get to, like... Oh, I can see. 
every pussy pussy. Uh, I do for believe sure. this is a six month probationary period. But no, you're gonna hear some shit you don't want to hear. Cause then you're gonna be like, damn, this bitch is in a convalescent house. She has been molested since like, 12 wait years second, old. Wait a second, do you right smell now? that? Danny, do you smell that? I think I smell a 2018 DUI. <laughs> you're gonna so hear you? some shit Which you don't wanna you hear, man. You, you judging these. And right. then they gonna say you motherfucking, they gonna say you, <laughs> you, you helping out sex trafficking. <laughs> Oh, that head shake is spot on, JPEG. You are spot on. Danny Brown is a fucking machine. <laughs> LSH, so tell us about your life, man. It's been a couple weeks since we've seen you. What's been going on in normal life? Man, been working with uh, Gary Fauci somewhere in the house, working with Ben Bankish. You, you have know. to tell the people, but nobody knows who the fuck you're okay, talking uh, about, Ellis. You'd have to describe what uh, you're doing with those people. Okay, Gary Fouse is a podcaster. Ben Bankish is a comedian, and we've just been making skits and shit, bro. It's beautiful. So the answer to the question is you've been making skits and shit. Yeah. Okay, perfect. pretty much. That's yeah. very good. Yes, sir. Uh, I love it. What else, other than making skits, like what have you been doing for fun? Man, roller skating. Roller skating? Are you yeah. serious? I fucking love the roller. You see roll bounce? I fuck with it. Oh, hey, yo, hey, hey, man, come on. Bro. Oh shit. On, Danny high fived him on it damn. too. I'm gay because I like to roller skate. What the fuck, bro? Oh shit. Damn. damn. Oh shit. How long you been roller skating for, Ellis? Since I was like 12. So you go to an. <laughs> all right, all right. Hey, you know what? Play that shit. I don't give a fuck. Shit, I know what's going on here. He freaky. He been yeah, showing yeah. some freaky I'm shit. I'm just like, God damn. <laughs> this is the guy, the guy that looks like he skates backwards at the all-male part of the... Uh... Me? No. Oh. Danny? Jesus Christ. Danny. You think I just start roasting you out of nowhere? You defensive little yes, baby. Yes, that's your whole thing. That's no. what you do. No, I wouldn't possibly do that You think you. I can skate backwards? I think you probably could. I think if we put roller skates on you, you would figure it out. That's the, that's the vibe that I get from you. No, I, I think you would move no. your legs in the no, proper way. No, I'm so I can't escape it. Am I, I, I doing I, it? I, I think I'm doing it. No, I was some gangster shit. Since you want to bring it up, we used to go to a motherfucking skate rink every motherfucking Saturday called Skate Land back in 1995, and there was some game banging shit hey. going on. So I ain't go to the motherfucking skate rink and shit. put motherfucking skate rinks on. Damn. I went to that motherfucker to fight niggas. So every time I went to this, <laughs> all right, all right, oh, shit. <laughs> I, yeah, oh, shit, absolutely. Danny. Hell That's a yeah. real. <laughs> I always like to go when I think there's too much chaos going on. I like to check in with D Madness, and I just heard him say the words, "I don't know what the fuck going on." Because he knew so. that's some real shit. That's what the actual podcast listeners think. I used to think, check in my motherfucking skates. I kept my shoes on. I used to. D Madness can't see your charismatic shirt and haircut, Danny. Uh, so it's really just it's just going off the straight words pull here. up at the skate ring catching fades with niggas on deck. Oh shit, dude! So a lot of your a lot of your uh, dangerous stuff that you do. No, we talking about shit. I'm set, I was like 13, 14 doing okay. this type of shit. All right, okay, just who go on a skate rink, nigga? Once I was like sixteen and like. Okay. Like, All right, Danny. Okay. You know, that's a, you so know, that's a totally different podcast. You know, Danny actually taught me the phrase catching fades. He was the first person to teach me that. Okay. I got a Very new slogan for that. It ain't catching fades no more. It's called getting maxed out. <laughs> Yeah, you get maxed out. That yeah. means you want to fight Welcome to another episode of the Urban Dictionary podcast, yeah. everybody. Facts on the set. <laughs> all right, all right. Hey, oh shit. Shit, bro. They got the niggas on the set. Hey. Ellis, uh, <laughs> what's your love life like? You roller skating with girls? What's going on out yeah, there? Yeah, with plenty of girls, man. It's pretty. It's just dope. It's amazing. Well, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just chilling over here with fucking. Danny Brown and shit, bro. Life is fucking complete, bro. Like Hell this yeah. is Martin Luther King's dream right here, bro. I love it. You heaven. you look fantastic. You're dressed hey, like don't... Black Bane tonight. I absolutely love it. Hey, bro. I I'm was telling. born in the dark. Hey, look. Hey, Martin Luther King. Literally. Hey, no, look. Hey. D okay, Madness. I'm not. <laughs> Oh, I'm it. sorry. I, I hit I hit one of our <laughs> season ticket holders in the head with a joke book. Sorry about that. On a set. On a set. <laughs> you can keep it. Hell yeah. Ellis, fun times. Congratulations. Another fun minute. Hey, appreciate you, man. Ella, hey. Ellis H. Appreciate He's coming. He's coming for everybody's job. We'll see what happens. 
Austin, Texas, I present to you the one and only Ellis H. Everyone. Hey, fellas, sometimes we got to lie to our ladies, man. I, that's just how it is, man. Like, my ex would ask me, baby, am I thick? Now, ladies and gentlemen, for those that don't know, thick is curvaceous, voluptuous, big-ass booty, right? I looked her square in the face, and I said, baby, you want thick-ass bitch. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, that is a lie. I was a thick bitch in a relationship. I had enough ass for the both of us. <laughs> Shit, but it's my fault because I... Prayed for it. I remember in high school, I would see a girl with a big old butt just walking. I said, Oh, God, give me a fat butt. And he gave it to me. But the problem is, he gave it to me. I said, Oh, shit. So you got to be very specific about what you pray for because you'll be like, Lord, I asked you to send me somebody special. That motherfucker will be special, all right. He'll come in with a helmet and no bike in that bitch. Just, Hello. Hey. Daddy, gonna see. Man, if y'all feeling good, give me a hell, yeah. Oh, man. I love y'all, man. Y'all could have been anywhere in the world, but y'all here with us, man. Fuck yeah. Man. Wow. How cool are you? LSH, everybody. I yes, love sir. it. Up here looking like every character from the movie Friday. <laughs> you look a little bit like everybody. There's, you see what I see? Like a tall Kevin Hart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What the fuck? I've gotten fuck? that shit before. Uh, <laughs> I just wanted to dress up once, shit. When roasting goes wrong with uh, Alice, let's talk about it. You are dressed to the fucking uh, shit, somethings man, I, tonight. Tony, I got tired of looking homeless, man. Motherfuckers give me change when I was walking in this bitch. You yeah, know? you. So I said, you know, you what nailed I'm it all the way to those fucking scuba shoes you're wearing. I don't know what's going on hey, there. I almost came in this bitch barefoot because I borrowed this from my Nigerian friend, but we not built the same and shit. So. <laughs> I don't know why the fuck. I almost came in here barefooted. Is the funniest thing anybody said on stage all night tonight. That's incredible. So you knew the shoes were bad. You were thinking about just going straight up no shoes and thinking I would just perhaps ignore that over the fact that the horrible shoes that you're wearing, because they are bad. And you'll notice in the history of the show, a lot of people have bad shoes, but I don't really like to make fun of shoes because they're not really that visible to people watching on YouTube and shit, but these are bad. Yeah. No, 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 no. Get them out of there. Get them out of here. Get them out of there. Get back over there. Get get those fucking shoes away from this table. (laughs) Last thing I need is whatever fucking... These are my Nigerian homeboys, though. They're not mine. Dude, how many people have died from fentanyl overdose in those shoes? That's what I want to know. Oh, shit. Tony, Tony, calm those down. those shoes shit. have seen death. I'm those are yeah, those are car accident shoes. Like you just go on the side of the highway and pick up some shoes yeah. and shift that. <laughs> yeah, I know. I there's a, there's a, a morgue tag connected to the toe of yeah, one of them. For those of you just listening to the podcast, right. <laughs> even Ross dressed for less is like uh uh-uh. uh. <laughs> I know I'm fucking up with Red Band just roasting the shit out of me. <laughs> just God damn. He tagged him in the fuck out of me. Yeah, man. Red Band's God. never worn shoes on Kill Tony. A little fun fact. You can't see him because he's behind that yeah, table. Yeah, I just wear buckets of gravy. Yeah, that's right. There's buckets of gravy. Yep. Now, your Nigerian friend gave you those. Yeah. Uh, did he, it was a gift? No, no, no. I ordered some boots, but they didn't come in time. And he, and he, boobs. That motherfucker set me up. Where did you meet this Nigerian? At school. What? At school, Texas oh, State. Texas State. Where, where were you studying shit. at Texas State? Uh, theater, man. BFA, wow. man. Yeah. Okay. Hell yeah. Actor and shit. Oh, I, this is a perfect opportunity. I want to pitch an idea. Tell me what y'all think. I want to... Um, that's why I dressed up so nice, is I'm pitching an idea. So, th- okay, get this. Me and Hans Kim, right? It's like rush hour, but it's a little bit slower. It's going to be called lunch yeah. hour. And, it, yeah. and, it, and it's me and him solving cases around Austin. Tony, you're in it. Yeah. Red Band's in it. Everybody's in that bitch. I'm trying to get it. I'm trying to get a GoFundMe for that bitch. So if anybody want to see that, make some noise if you want to see that. That'd be a good shit. That'd it's a, a movie? Shit. A movie, yes. What I'm do like, you call it? it it's going to be called this, like lunch hour. Lunch hour? Because it's slower than rush hour. It's just me and Hans Kim. Lunch hour. Yes, yes. I think you're close. I think you should call it crush hour or something like that. Yeah. So it's a little more on the nose, like uh, actually, yeah, so that yeah. people know. Because if you, 
Yeah, but maybe if the poster's right, I could see how lunch hour would like, work. It'd be beautiful, bro. Like, Hans, I'll be like, do you understand the words that are coming to my mouth? And then Hans will be like, dude, I speak English. What the fuck? I'm right here, dude. What the fuck? Oh, I shouldn't squint. I'm not squinting. I'm- Absolutely hilarious. Yeah, now I really do want to see this. Maybe we could fucking get Yoni to film some stupid sketch or something like hey, that. Hey, let's do it. Hey, let's go, baby. All right, there you go. Very excited. Uh, I love it. What else is going on this week? It's been a week since we talked to you. LSH, what you been up to? Man, just auditioning and shit, um, writing scripts, um, waiting for a call back. Yep. You're uh, sending in videos or are you going in on auditions? Uh, I'm sending in videos, but my agent ain't shit, y'all, and I'm thinking about cutting her loose. Because she's sending me, she's sending me on shit that I can't even do. Like looking for African American, six tall, uh, six foot and t- or taller. I'm like, oh shit! Now you know damn well I can't do that. Yeah. So I hit her up. I said, and Lord knows you don't have the shoes for that. I don't. <sighs> those fucking man, th- those those put bro. the word mock in moccasins. I'm what telling if, you right now. Don't zoom in on that shit, please. What if those he stands are, on Hans Kim? Like he could just stand on those him. Those fucking auditions. those make penny loafers look like Yeezys. I mean these fucking <laughs> shoes. It's God unbelievable. D madness swarming you in the shoe category, and and he doesn't even need to give a fuck. Oh, man. God, I'd imagine, yeah. in fact, if we gave D the power of vision right now and the first thing that he saw was those shoes, he'd be like, send me back. <laughs> I, I'm good. This shit's disgusting. I, send I, me back to permanent blindness. I knew this was going to happen. I, I should have t- been barefoot. In Tony, can you describe no. the shoes for like the, uh, you know, the audio I mean, listeners? it really is. It, it looks like it's, it's like a cross. It looks like if the Batman and the Penguin made a baby together. <laughs> And the, the feet that would be attached oh, to that shit. animal. Just a sad, sort of plasticky fake leather. Uh, there is stitching everywhere in every direction. It looks like uh, the bride of Chucky or something yeah. like that. It's uh, like a moccasin made out of black licorice. Yeah, yeah like it really is. It's, it's actually quite shocking. This is what it looks like when scuba divers get stuck in caves and die. Yeah. Uh, this is what they end up finding, is the, the types of remnants of exactly <laughs> these shoes. In fact, I do believe that they are made of the exact same thing as this chair right here in my hand. Yeah. I think they're just melt, two melted-down chairs. Same you stitching. Have them on your feet. It's like Pac-Man made it. Yeah. Thank y'all. Y'all been no, so great. I no, appreciate no, 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 no. Y'all been phenomenal. You son of a bitch. <laughs> This is like if Nike gave John Stockton his own shoe deal instead of Michael Jordan. Those things are fucking horrendous. If those were Nikes, their slogan would be just don't do it. I mean, I'm sorry, dude. Bonesai's gonna make Bonesai's gonna make joke books out of those for next week. Okay. It's like seven big ones. I mean, that, those things are absolutely incredible. The, la- the, the last time I saw tongues that big, it was the lead singer of Kiss. Ay, 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 ay. See, the, very rarely oh can you make God. fun of the tongues. You're not even laughing, sir. They're right in front of you. How do you not enjoy a good fucking <laughs> shoe roast, sir? Welcome to the party, you son of a bitch. Hey, dap me up for that oh, shit. They've been burning shit. my ass alive for the fucking... This fucking guy Bro, must be wearing you, shitty dude. shoes under that table. <laughs> shit, man. He has your back with those shoes, which is... Can you is, imagine what those shoes sound oh, like walking down a rainy road? Like... <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Alice, don't. We're making fun of them. Oh, my God. God. Damn it, I can't take it anymore, Tony. Oh, my God. I can't. I got PTSD in this bitch. <laughs> okay. All right, See, now, sir. I, that's, a, that's a reason why I toss it, bro. Don't toss shit back the up The show there, is man. chaos. It's like a bad home run ball. They're throwing the shoe back out. <laughs> now, leave it's it where like, it was God. at. This is a, like a real baseball game <laughs> right now. It smells incredible. like salt and vinegar now up here. Oh, come on. You a damn liar. I Nuh-uh. flipped out on that shit. Nuh-uh. All right, so much fun, LSH. Uh, oh. another. Un- you, I mean, you are truly. You know, how long have you been doing stand up again? Four years. Four years, and you're putting it all together. You're taking that theater background and your natural likability, and you're just so fun every time. 
Here he is, the newest hey, oh. regular on the show, hey. Ellis H. Hey, Tony, with his real quick. second ever performance. I'm so sorry. Wait, what? You okay. want to talk more after that? No, 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 Boy. no, 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 no. Okay, real my quick. goodness. For my, for my people in You should be more like your shoes and get the fuck off the stage. No, I know, I know. Okay, look. My last name, it sounds like a letter H, but the letter is A Y. C H. That's the whole thing. There you go. H. There I you just go. wanted to clear it up. I'm gonna get the fuck off stage. There you okay. go. Okay. Sorry. Fall. It's Ellis H. Everybody. Here it is. Ellis H. Damn. This shit was higher than a motherfucker. All right, y'all. Social media. It's cool, man. It got its pros and it's got its cons. One of the pros is it connects you to every single body you know. The problem is, or the con is, it connects you to every single body you know. It ain't great, man, I'm telling you. For you don't need to be connected to everybody you fucking know, man. For example, I don't know, it was my birthday. A coworker said, happy birthday. Pretty simple, right? Then my mama wrote on that bitch, oh my God. Happy birthday to my oldest son. May God bless you in all of your ways. May you shoot amongst the stars, because even if you fall, you will land amongst the stars. And then my homeboy from the fourth grade, uh, Pookie, he hit me up, happy birthday, my nigga. Hope you bust that birthday nut. <laughs> and then I was like, dude, I got church members on this shit. And then my mama commented, actually, he's allergic to nuts. I said, mama, that's not the same nut. This woman talking about cashews and shit. Alice H, that's the end of his set. Shout out to uh, Jake. Jake and Ashley from all the way from Lafayette, Louisiana. Oh, happy birthday, baby. Hell yeah. Are you giving shout outs to random what audience members fuck? right now? We met in the bathroom and shit. He was like big fan. And then Jesus, I'll... Ellis, focus right now. Oh my God. It's That's all it takes I, I, is a fucking random ass person in the bathroom to. No, like he. I've never seen... I, this is like if ADD and BET had a baby. This is incredible what's going on oh here. Oh, shit. You are a distracted know. young man. I don't know why. I think it's so funny that he literally just finished and it went to you and he went, oh, shit, dude from yeah. the bathroom. Yo, what's what up? up? <laughs> My man, from the, we, were, we were pissing together. Hey, let's yeah. go, let's go. Our urinations are matched up. I love it. So let's talk about it, LSH. That was a long setup to get to the bust that birthday nut joke. Uh... So you did have a birthday recently, or is this just an older joke? I had a birthday recently, in October. Okay. So it's relatively. Yeah, relatively. And what did happen? Did you bust that, that birthday nut? Yes. You did? Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. It was great. It was great. Yeah. And by the way you're dressed, I'm guessing that you broke into a person's home and just uh, <laughs> took advantage of them. Hey, we don't talk about that, Tony. I, I yeah. told you that uh, in the green room. Don't be... Right. Now, last face. week, I made fun of you. You were wearing a suit, and you had black dress shoes on. This week, you are wearing what appears to be literally a worse pair of shoes. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, screw, screwball peanut butter whiskey, y'all. Let's get a name out of this bucket. I don't want to get roasted. Ellis, again. get the fuck back up. <laughs> Swear to God. You've only been a regular for three weeks. Don't make me fire you. Uh. Would be so, it would be so black of you to get fired after three weeks. The guy literally worked for three minutes. He worked for three minutes, and then he clocked out. He packed up his shitty shoes, and he left forever. I love it. Alice, let's talk about life. How's it going, man? How's stand-up hey, been going for you? You didn't move the mic stand tonight. It was like watching the fucking... Uh, I don't know exactly what I'm going to say here. It's, that, it would be racist if I said what I was just thinking. So I'm not going to. We're going to plow forward. But you didn't move the mic stand. Why do you think that is? Why I didn't move the mic stand? Yeah. I just didn't feel like moving the mic stand, I guess. Hell yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Minimal amount of work, I understand. I mean, yeah. um, you still haven't moved the mic stand, though. I it's Okay. At this point, Red Band, it doesn't really matter. Uh, what do you do for work, Alice? I don't know if I've ever even asked you that. I am a Lyft driver. I drive for Lyft. Hey, shout out to you. I probably picked you up. Oh, shit. More friends over he there. He picked me up in the Quiznos. That's it. So you're a Lyft driver. What kind of car are you driving? A Nissan Rogue. Wow. Nissan hey, Rogue. Hey, see, that's, what, that's my boy right there. You have a Nissan Rogue, too? Oh, shit. That shit reliable, Tony. It'll get you where you need to be. Oh, my God. Ellis, there are so many interestingly like white lesbian woman qualities about you. A Nissan Rogue. 
Wow. Mm, I love Shana, uh, what's that? Um, looks like we made it. Look how Shania Twain is the shit, dude. Oh, shit. Still the one I want. Uh, no, 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 no. Okay, that's enough for that. I'm sorry. I'm trying to 100%. Start. You got it, Ellis. What'd you do today? What does a normal day in the life of Ellis look like? When you wake up, what's the first thing that you see? I don't want to be like the stripper girl, but I like YouTube videos too, though. <laughs> I, I, like, I was like, damn, I watch YouTube videos. Yeah, I like interesting shit. I like to learn interesting things. Like, what kind of YouTube videos did you watch today? Oh, exactly. um, seven songs that are, like, misinterpreted. Like, you know that song, like, who let the dogs out? Yeah. Woo, woo, woo. Yeah. yeah, that's about feminism. I that's what? That shit. It's about feminism. Feminism? Yeah. Yeah. It's about catcalling. I can't make this shit up. Really? Wait, yeah. That song is about feminism? Yeah, really? it's about feminism. So we like, the, are the feminists the dogs that are let like out? The, so the, dude, so the dudes are catcalling the chick or whatever, and then he, like some part, the, the lady yelled out, who let the dogs out? Because they're calling at her and Oh, shit. they're acting like dogs. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The men catcalling are acting like dogs. Wow. <laughs> wow. I always liked that song until now. Yeah. <laughs> Now that I know it's pro feminism. What a horrible song. Yeah. Yikes. The Macarena? Y'all know the, the Macarena? Yeah. Oh, my God, oh, my uh-huh. God. Yeah, fuck that bitch. It's about a woman who cheats on her husband. Are you serious? I swear to God. No way. The fucking Macarena? The, the, the bitch do the dance thing? Play the song. She goes, the boy wants me or some bullshit like that. Look at the lyrics. I ain't <laughs> Look at the up. lyrics. <laughs> I love it. Seven songs that are misinterpreted. Okay. Wow. So what do you do after you watch YouTube videos? You work out? You exercise? Yeah, I work out. Yeah? What kind of workouts do we do? I went to, um, oh, I do bench press and shit like that. All right. Prison workout. I get it. Okay. I was was at a, what's it called, a Planet Fitness, but Uh they have, like, all these regulations and shit. Like, they don't want you to yell or throw down the weights. (laughs) I'm like, what the fuck do you want me to do then? Like, if I got something heavy, I'm just supposed to be... What noise do you make? You when don't make no noise. You just fucking grunt it out. No oh. Noise. But what noise do you want to make? Yeah. You said that you were mad because you couldn't yell. Because if it's a heavy weight, fellas, who live weights in this bitch? Make some noise. Wow. Yeah, y'all ask me. Ladies ah! only. Okay. You be out here screaming, and if it's heavy as fucking, you max out, you... Ah! Wow. There's a fucking vein in that motherfucking neck. Don't talk to that son of a bitch. He's working right. his hardest. Yeah. Don't do it. If you see three veins in that man's neck, leave him the fuck alone. He's working on his set. Mm-hmm. So how long did you last to Planet Fitness? Um, I just did like, what, like 30 minutes on a treadmill and then just about like, I don't know, hour 30, something like that. Hour 30. One time and then you were gone forever. You never went back. No, I, I go every fucking like Tuesday. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tuesday. So it's coming up. Is there a special deal on Tuesdays or something? Is there a reason why you picked that day in particular? I just was like, man, I just need to get my shit together on Tuesday. Tuesday just seemed like a day you get your shit together. Like, yeah. it's like, I got to get my life together. Monday was fucked. Tuesday, I got to get it. Yeah. I, I have that so- may sound weird, but that made total sense to yeah, me. Yeah. That's, that might be the true lazy comedian in me, but yeah. I was like, yeah, you're not going to do shit on Monday, yeah. obviously. Yeah, I agree. But now that you regularly perform on Kill Tony, I might suggest switching it to Monday. Uh, you might want to get your shit together on Mondays, <laughs> the day that you perform in front of a big sold-out live audience. Man, I, man, fuck out of here. Hold up. Oh, shit. What's happening here? Hold up. Oh, shit. Already a better stripper than Elise, by the way. Uh, <laughs> What the? Y'all see these fucking oh! guys in this bitch. You don't see, Jason. You see this shit? Oh shit! You see it? Oh I'll shoot my your fucking God. face off. I can't L- point them at nobody. Look at those. That is incredible. Hey, y'all like this T-shirt of me? That was me back in 1988. Wow. Hell yeah, black don't crack for real. That's a real thing. Your ice cube? Yeah. <laughs> I am ice cube. Where did, wait, where did you get dude. that? Did you get, uh, You're asking him where he bought his shirt, Red Band? Oh. I took a picture <laughs> of myself and just scanned it on the bitch. Oh, wait, that's not Ice Cube. Okay. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it's Ice Cube. Yeah. It's Ice Cube. <laughs> yep. It's 100%. Uh, okay. Fun times, Ellis. You did it again. Another brand new minute Woo! from Ellis H. Back to the bucket we go. Yeah. 